Need to program your B and C axes? With SmartCam, you can. SmartCam version 18.5 includes improved and enhanced functionality for programming turning centers with indexable B and C axes and live tooling. Improvements to the defined plane user interface makes it easy to use SmartCam to generate toolpath for this type of machine. We can select the defined plane commands directly from the work plane list. Note also that there are options to edit, to delete, or to kill work planes and also to display plane data for existing planes. Here is the updated dialog panel. Let's take a look at some of the new functionality by creating one of the work planes required by this part. Work planes are required to machine the location faces spaced around the diameter. We'll generate a datumed work plane for machining this face. We can quickly set the axes orientations by using the three-point method. Select an initial origin here, an axis direction by snapping to this endpoint. And the third point is used to orient the plane. As soon as we have made sufficient inputs, a temporary work plane is displayed. The axis orientations for our work plane are preserved if we switch to a rotations method. And we can, if necessary, now easily move the work plane datum. We might prefer, for example, to program from the center of this hole in the face. Select our new origin point. Notice also that we have 90 degree rotations about the new work plane axis available. Finally, we will use those to orient the new work plane axes into a consistent orientation. In this case, by rotating about the new local Z axes. Let's give the plane a more meaningful name. We are now ready to use a new work plane for creating geometry and toolpath. SmartCam's Showpath and Showcut Toolpath simulation includes improved display of the B and C axis indexing. We can demonstrate that by simulating toolpath for our component. We can see that SmartCam shows the rotary axis indexing into position. SmartCam's new plane definition is also a benefit in milling applications. Let's take a look at a milling example by putting a facing cut over this face on the prismatic component, machined on a machining center with indexable axes. We simply create a work plane using three points on the face. And then reposition it to the preferred datum at the center of this hole. We'll give the new work plane a meaningful name, Face 1, and apply toolpath using the new work plane. We'll add a simple linear move in this case. We can set SmartCam view controls to be relative to the current work plane. We use the same data to create machining toolpath on the other face of the component. Showpath displays our toolpath on the local work plane. SmartCam Advanced Turning 18.5 also delivers a new index and cut toolpath method when machining features on planes that are parallel to the primary XY plane. If we consider the four features on the front face of our component, previous versions of SmartCam could only be used to program all of these on the primary XY work plane. This meant that only XY toolpath could be generated for features such as these on the front face or on a plane parallel to the front face. Now, work planes can be defined that will generate CNC code for a C-axis index to bring the work plane into position, followed by XY toolpath for the process associated with the local origin. For more information on SmartCam version 18, please check the SmartCam CNC website at smartcamcnc.com or call us at 541- 344-4563. Need to program your B and C axes? With SmartCam, you can.